Hi! In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create custom Moodle user tour. Moodle user tours are interactive guides that help users navigate the platform at the beginning of their access to the platform or to a course. These tours provide step-by-step -step instructions and highlight important features and best practices. We can leverage this tool to further educate our users about the platform, alternatively for announcements and posting about important information to create user awareness, just like our example. So to do that, we have to go to our LMS site administration and look for appearance. Upon accessing the appearance page, we look for the user tours. So we scroll down below to see the button to create a new tour. So we must fill in this necessary fields for us to proceed. So we have the security awareness notes for the user tour name. Then we can add our description. And since we want this tour to be available to the dashboard page and the My Courses page, we set up this thing. So we can also make this available to a specific course page, forum page, or profile pages. If we want to modify the M tour button label, we can modify it by adding the text right here. So let's say we want to show the tour until it has been closed or each time a filter matches it. So in this case, we want this to be seen every time the user logs in. So we want this to display each time a filter matches it. So the placement, we can set it to below. We want to show even if the target is not available, yes. Do we want to show with the backdrop, yes. And do we want to proceed on click? On the next part, the tour filters is for us to select the conditions under which the tour will be shown. All of the filters must match for a tour to be shown to a user. So we won't be modifying anything on this condition since again, we want this example to be displayed across all users every time they access their dashboard or the My Courses page. So once that is all saved and done, we can just save changes to this. Upon saving the user tour, we can now see that it has been added to the list. So we can view this one, edit, duplicate, export, or delete the user tour. So the next step for us is to add the step-by-step -step guide. But in this example, we'll just be adding one step. So click on the security awareness notes and click on the link for a new step. In this area, the target type can be block, CSS selector, or to be displayed in the middle of the page. So we want our guide to be displayed in the middle of the page, so we select that one. After that, we'll just have to input the title of the header, select manual, and on the content area, we will add the content that we want to be displayed for our end user. In this case, this is the notes on securing their account. So once that is all saved and done, just click on Save Changes. So upon saving, uh, once we have completed the step necessary for this user tour, we can now enable our user tour. So to enable that, just go back to the list of all the user tours and click on the eye icon in line with the security awareness notes for the user tool that you have created. So this one will enable the user tool. So once enabled, every time the filter is matched according to the user access, this specific user tool will pop up. And that is the end of this video tutorial. Thank you very much.